This is the introduction to Form Publisher, one of the components to Scannable Office. After completing this tutorial, you will understand what Form Publisher is used for, know how to create a new scannable survey or form, be able to identify the various scannable objects, understand what makes a form scannable. Form Publisher is what you use to create and edit surveys or forms, so in most cases it's going to be the first thing you run when you use Scannable Office. You notice that when you click on the Form Publisher icon, Microsoft Word opens and you may or may not get a security warning asking if you would like to enable the macro for uh, Autodata. Uh, it's extremely important that you do enable the macro, otherwise you will not be able to create the scannable objects. If you do not get the security warning, you may have changed your settings so that it automatically bypasses this step and it's okay, as long as you see the Autodata toolbar. So I will click on Enable Macro, and at the top of the screen you can see the Autodata toolbar which contains various icons representing different types of scannable objects. The Autodata toolbar gives you all the tools you really need to make a form or survey uh, with Scannable Office, although it's really important to remember that you're not tied to just the tools and objects in the Autodata toolbar. The benefit of using Scannable Office to create your forms and surveys is that you have all of the functionality that Word gives you. For instance, the drawing toolbar is a great tool for making squares, circles, inserting pictures, word art, color, really anything that may add style or a personal touch to your form or survey. But let's take a moment to go over the basic properties and purpose of the objects and tools provided on the Autodata toolbar. Please note that this is not a tutorial on how to create the objects. Please see later tutorials for that in the Autodata Learning Center. First off, we have the check mark grid, which is located on the far left of the Autodata toolbar. This object is great when you have a list of items that you would like a participant to choose from. In this case, you see that I have a list of colors. The question might have been, please choose your favorite color out of this list. The next object in the Autodata Systems Toolbar is the Handprint field. This is good for letters and numbers that need to be in the database as type text. Participants that get your form or survey with handprint fields on them will be able to print letter by letter in each box and when the form is scanned those letters will be interpreted into type text and put into the database. An example of this would be if you asked your participant for their name, phone number, or address. These would be good applications for the handprint boxes. Autodata Systems Smart Memory Technology will aid in recognizing the characters, and with time it will remember different writing styles. The next object on the toolbar is the barcodes. Barcodes are the most reliable object that you can put on your form or survey. They are used to track information about the person filling out the form. For example, you could place a barcode on your form or survey either by having the same barcode on every document or by merging data from a database. And the barcode will help you track the department the location or an ID number, whatever information you want to link to the participant and have presented in the database. Let's say that I work for a print company. We have two different departments at the print company, the color department and the paper department. And let's say that I designed an employee satisfaction survey. But I want to know which results come from the different departments. I would put a barcode like the one pictured on all the surveys going to the color department and I would put a barcode that looked very similar but instead said paper. 
That way, in the database, I would be able to see which data came from the color department and which data came from the paper department. There is one other way that we could do what we just talked about, and that is with an optical character recognition object, otherwise known as an OCR field. The OCR object is symbolized by an AB in the Autodata Systems toolbar. An OCR field acts the same way that a barcode field does in that you define its value and then when the form or survey is scanned in, that value will be put into the database. Although there are two differences that are worth mentioning. The first is that the value of an OCR field is easily identifiable. Take the example pictured here. Color is the value of both the OCR field and the barcode field. Both would be put into the database if this form was scanned, but the OCR field is a lot easier to read. The second difference is that barcodes are a lot more reliable than OCR fields. The slightest mark or damage will result in a possible incomplete scan or misinterpretation of what the value is supposed to be. So it is recommended that whenever possible barcode fields are used instead of OCR fields. The next object on the Autodata toolbar is called the image capture. This is also commonly referred to as a comment capture box, mainly because of its common use to capture free handwritten comments. Once scanned, anything that appears inside of the designated space will be saved as a TIFF image. The key entry object on the Autodata Systems toolbar looks a lot like the comment capture area on the form although there is a significant difference between the two. During scanning and validation, the key entry area will not be read or interpreted or even saved like the image capture object. Instead, the operator will be prompted for manual interpretation. Anything that the operator key enters during validation will be seen in the database. This is nice for areas that may be for office use only or for comment boxes that need to be put in the database. The next object pictured on the Autodata toolbar is not a scannable object and it is actually borrowed from the Microsoft Word drawing toolbar. On the Autodata toolbar it's labeled as text and on the Microsoft drawing toolbar it's labeled as a text box but they are the same thing. You should use this to create text objects that may give instructions or definitions, but also for the questions that you require responses to. It is important that you create all objects, fields, labels, and pictures inside of free-floating objects, like a text box. It is important to do this um, so that your form can maintain a very dynamic and customizable feel. All objects created using the Autodata toolbar are by default created in movable areas. This gives you the ultimate flexibility in the design of your form. The next two objects on the Autodata toolbar are extremely important in the creation of your form or survey. The first is the Add Page object. When you want to add another page to your form or survey, this also includes if you are making a two-sided document, you must use the Add Page button. Do not enter down the page like you would if you were typing a letter in Word. The Add Page object adds the locator boxes that you see in the corners, which are necessary for the scanning of your former survey. Once you have completed the process of designing your form, you will need to use the Publish object as your last step. By clicking on the Publish button, you are telling Form Publisher to do two things. The first is to create a map file, also known as a template file, which will be used by Form Reader to collect data during scanning. The second is to give the current document a unique Form ID so that the Form Reader knows which database to write to. Now you notice that there 
is a second half to the Autodata toolbar. These objects are all borrowed from Microsoft Word, and they help with the organization and design of your form or survey. Later tutorials will go over how to use these various tools. This completes the introduction to Form Publisher.